Hello everyone, my name is Jiren. Thank you for supporting me during this period. So basically, I'm a personal trainer. So me and my girlfriend Gina, we are starting out JG Fitness. So we hope that you support us in our journey and we'll continue to post educational and informative video. So for today, we are talking about the ketogenic challenge. So it was not easy during the ketogenic challenge, but it was interesting and fun at the same time to see how my body will adapt to such high fat. So what is ketogenic? So I explain again, for ketogenic is basically high fat, 75% of your calories is coming from fats, low carbs, 5% of carbs, keeping carbs to a minimal, and also 20% of protein, which is the main bulk that I am actually eating throughout. Okay, so just to mention, we do not advocate any diet of any sort, be it paleo, actins, even ketogenic diet. Okay, so what we believe in is that we want to know we want you to know where you're currently at, where do you want to be in the future, and also you need to monitor what goes in through your mouth, what goes in the body, how your body process it, and what comes out after. So that means monitoring your bowel movement also. Alright, from the challenge on the day I started, on the 3rd of August 2017, I started with 70.1 kg and also 14.5 percentage of body fat so body fat is the one that we normally look at not too much of bmi although that's a good indication for the government to see how obese we are or how skinny we are okay and at the end i ended at 69.5 kg with 14 percentage of body fat on the 24th of august 2017 to be honest, I'm actually very very surprised and also happy at the same time that my weight went down and my body fat percentage went down. So how the hell did it go down, I am not too sure. Okay, basically I have been eating or drinking quite a lot of fats which include coconut oil, flaxseed oil, taking fish oil as supplements, also eating a lot of creams and cheese. Okay, so that is actually a huge bulk of my diet. Say what? Throughout these 21 days. I might give credit to the ketogenic diet, but I would like to mention that when normally we cut carbo to a low amount, our body is likely to experience a huge drop or rather a few kg drop in terms of the weight due to water being lost as glycogen is being depleted in our body. Mm, what you say? <laughs> cut carbo to a low amount, our body is likely to experience a huge drop or rather a few kg drop in terms of the weight due to water being lost as glycogen is being depleted in our body. So I can't say for sure that if I'm in a ketogenic state, as you have seen throughout my whole period that I have been eating on and off, on and off, although I try to keep to the same kind of diet. So to keep it real, in terms of measuring, I did not use any form of keto sticks to measure to see whether I'm in keto ketogenesis. So I will leave the imagination up to you as my photo is there for you to judge and the progress is there for you to see. Okay, the consistency in food and the needed adjustment is the one that's gonna bring you the result. So I'm gonna emphasize on this again. So basically what you eat, how your body process it and what comes out after. So you need to monitor it on a daily basis. Alright, so for everyone that has been following, you know that I actually increased my calories from 3,366 to 3,540 wow. per day. So because I was consistently hungry and I was consistently constipated, my mood was actually going downhill, which Gina would actually know. Okay, so you must know when you need to adjust accordingly as you change your food intake. The reason why I increased my calories intake is because I felt so hungry and I was not eating any food, mainly deriving from the fats, the oil, so eating a little bit of cheese, macadamia nuts, alright? So that doesn't help me to be full because I'm actually used to eating a lot, a lot more meat even though I have tried low carbs before. So finally, what does it mean for you, for me and for us in the future? So I have three things that i like to mention. So first one, I'm actually very convinced that diet low in carbs will help you to lose weight fast in the short run. 
but there's not enough long-term studies to show that it will allow you to keep the weight off forever. So if you want a short-term solution, for example, if you're going for a wedding or party, then restricting your carbs might be the way to go. However, do take note that it may work for me, it may work for some other people, but it may not work for you because we are all very different. Alright, so remember, each individual is very, very different. So, second point, so if you are still keen on losing weight on the long run, please do not start off by changing your diet entirely unless you are trained or experienced enough to do so. So, adjust slowly with your dinner. One example, slowly adjust your dinner, reduce your portion and control what goes into your mouth and also monitor your weight daily. For the third point, to gain muscle is slightly much more complicated than that. So for this, as you can see my size, <laughs> I am not too adept in that. But there's two things to take note of. So first one, increasing your resistance training. And second one, to increase your food intake, especially the proteins. So you should most probably be counting your macros. So if you're not counting your macros, then something is not That's right. It. Thank you everyone once again. So what does it mean for us in the future? Okay, for myself, I'm still continuing the ketogenic diet for another one to two months depending. So basically, after that, I'm going to switch to a cup base or rather a zone where I'll be counting my macros and eating my food accordingly while trying to increase my muscle mass and decreasing body fat at the same time. So if there's anything that comes up, I will be posting up again on JG Fitness. So do keep a lookout on our space. And if you need any information, please do not hesitate to contact us through our email at jgfit.sg at gmail.com. So we love you everyone. Peace out. You gotta be there for me too